Hi everyone! So today we are in the Uljiro area and we're obviously by the Cheonggyecheon, the stream that kind of splits right through the center of Seoul. And I'm gonna take you to a place that I've brought you to before but it's always been kind of in passing and sorry about the wind and I would like to try to find a, little, a few more things in there because it's just such a cool area and it is Seyun Sangha which is just this huge complex which I'll talk about a little bit later once we're actually in it. I am currently walking just to a really cool cafe that just opened and it has this sweeping view of the city and of Namsan so we're gonna start there because it is a hot hot day today um, and so I'm gonna cool off and then we're just gonna hit Seyun Sangha and I'll show you around. So let's go. history lesson time. So basically this entire area, oh my gosh, this entire area as with honestly most of Seoul was just completely destroyed by the Japanese colonists. Particularly this entire stretch of land was just absolutely destroyed and then after the Korean War this became a place where just like people who were who lost their homes and everything they kind of set up towns here so like like kind of like tent cities and then in the 60s um there was this plan to make this really big shopping and living center so basically the whole idea of the architect was to have this giant plaza that you could walk on the second floor as we are can you see we're above the street you could walk uninterrupted above the street and it would be like this amazing luxury shopping place. And then up above the upper levels would be um, luxury apartments and people still do live here, which is interesting. It ended up not really working out. And then it kind of became a place where you sold a lot of porn, like pornography and then like technology, like video stuff. Then they were thinking of tearing it down and they decided to instead kind of remake it. A lot of new little cafes are opening up. There are lots of um, little sections available for like media art and stuff like that. They're trying to just use this space in a lot of different ways. I'm gonna walk around and show you a few gems that you can find in here, but it's constantly changing and it's just a really cool area to wander around. Um, and there's no way to get lost because you're kind of in a constant state of being lost. So you stumble upon new things, it's great. So anyway, um, let's just look around. Up there is the Jongmyo Shrine. So we are walking south, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna loop around a lot of it. There's a flower market in here. You can climb onto the roof, lots of stuff. So let's go. want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Native. They're really coming in clutch today because it's so hot. Native is a deodorant company that is aluminum, paraben, and sulfate free. They are vegan, they are cruelty free. I've been using it, they sent it to me a while ago, so I've been using it for a little over a month and I got three different scents. They have so many scents. I ended up getting the lavender rose, the cucumber mint, and the eucalyptus mint, and I, cannot tell you which one is my favorite. They all smell really good, but also really subtle. Like they do not smell at all like a deodorant. My main complaint about this deodorant, native, take note, um, the lavender rose one is the one I've been using the most. Um, and it smells exactly like my favorite Persian ice cream 
that I do not have access to. And so when I randomly get a whiff of it, I get very homesick and sad. So if they could do something about it and it lasts for a really long time, I put it to the test with all of the random things I've been doing in this whole summer. If you are interested, normally three deodorants are $36, but if you use my code and there's a link down below, um, my code is Carrie Cakes, you can get 33% off. So it's just 24, which is basically getting one free. Honestly, really like it. It's just like a creamy texture. There's no like drop off. What's it called? I didn't know that I could be wowed by a deodorant, but I am. And so thank you Native for sponsoring this. Let's continue smelling fresh, smelling like a little rose over here. Let's go. right now so later in the day all of these little bars are gonna open and usually this whole place is just like crowded with people it's really cool bookstore was so sweet he gave I asked him how much this van sticker was and he said it was free and he made me take a bunch more so yeah that was just a bunch of like little art books and stuff um really cool there was one that I don't think I took a picture of but it was somebody's journal from when they went to Scotland and it was just like all of their they had a Finn air ticket they had all these like bus stubs and like little flowers they they made, I don't know, that was just such a cool idea. There's a giant pumpkin. Okay, um, anyway, bookstore, great. <laughs> Why is it here? <laughs> There's just a giant pumpkin growing. All right, okay, okay. Oh man, the mountains call my number one. I'm just a life-size lottery. There are, it's like a mix of offices and then actual houses. Um, it's, it's just such a, such an odd place.
it's a little later now and Kurt just got off work. It is Friday night. So we are going to actually, I think we're gonna get barbecue, which is weird as someone who doesn't eat meat, but um, I really like the jjigae and stuff, just the atmosphere of eating out. Um, and it's like a nice cool day. So yeah, we're gonna go somewhere in Jongno. I don't know, there's lots of places. Um, so I have to be on the lookout for Kurt and let's get dinner. This entire street, as far as the eye can see, are places you can just eat. <laughs> everyone we are back home and um i just had we went to like the randomest bar just walked into this literal hole in the wall and um i had the biggest and strongest moscow mule i think i've ever had um and it's about time to post my first booktube video <laughs> so answering comments is going to be a wild ride for me i don't normally drink but it's going to be fun and i'm excited um so yeah i hope that you enjoyed that little day um i got there around two um you can get up to so much in the like jongno Ujiro area the seyun sangha structure in and of itself is just really cool so if you just want to spend the day kind of going in there all the shop owners are super sweet obviously there's a whole nother layer of talking about like gentrification and everything that's happening in that neighborhood, which is complicated and I don't, I can't properly talk about it, I don't think. But now I am just going to go post my, <gasps> oh, it's time. Um, I'm going to go post my booktube video. I'm so excited. Um, and so I will see you guys in the comments over there. And thank you again to Native for sponsoring this video. You kept me smelling fresh even though now i kind of smell like meat because we went to a barbecue but that's not native's fault um so you can check my description box for the link and also use my code carrie cakes uh to get that 33 percent off discount and like i said lavender rose man bringing me back bringing me back to that persian ice cream so yeah i'm gonna stop here I'm gonna focus on my booktube channel and i will see you guys next time thank you always bye